Greetings gang, what's up? Today we're going to be looking at the epic solo from Apocalyptic City by Testament. Let's take a look. Take a look at the first section. We're going to begin with this kind of little arpeggio thing into the run. Let's take that slowly. I want to start off with a flat middle finger across seven of the fifth and the fourth string. Then I hit five of the third. Then I go. So we're kind of working in sets of four here. So I'm playing, which is nine, seven, five, and then four of the third string. And then I go, those four notes there were seven, five, four on the third, and then seven of the fourth string. Let's put the arpeggio in front of that. The end of that goes. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing five, four on the third, and then seven, five, seven on the fourth. So all together. Okay, we change it up a little bit and go to this. This one's pretty straightforward. I'm starting on six of the fifth, and then I have a flat finger across five of the fourth and the third string. Okay, and then from there I work this run from eight of the third string. This is working straight down a pretty um, standard formation. So what I'm doing here is I'm going eight, seven, five on the third, and then eight of the fourth. And I go seven, five on the third, and then eight, seven on the fourth. So back to back. And then the last little chunk of that group goes. So I'm playing five of the third, and then playing eight, seven, five, and then a seven again on the fourth string. So this whole new chunk goes like this. So back to back. Okay, then we go back to the first one again. That's identical. And then we'll return to this shape the second time it's a little bit different. So instead of doing a weird formation with that, as soon as I hit this high E flat or D sharp on the third string, uh, I'm just going to descend all the way down the scale. So do that a little bit slower. The leading in arpeggio is going six of the fifth, and then five of the fourth, and five of the third. So what we had before, and then from eight of the third string, this descending pattern goes eight, seven, five on the third, and then the same thing, eight, seven, five on the fourth. And then when I get to the fifth string, I want to play eight, six, five, same on the six. And then I'm going to resolve that on the third fret, so I go. Let's try putting all of section one together now nice and slow. second section we're actually going to borrow some themes from the first. We're actually going to get this first arpeggio that we had. 
followed by that little sequence there, and do exactly the same thing twice in a row. Hopefully that's making sense. And then this part that we have at the very end of the first section, that little arpeggio thing into the straight descend, we're going to borrow again as well. So thus far, of section two, all of this is just recycled information. I'll play it again a bit slower. The bit that ends section two, though, we're going to have to learn is slightly new. We're starting off with that same sort of initial arpeggio, and then we do a straight descent from, I guess, this A minor idea. That initial arpeggio is going to be the same. I'm playing seven of the fifth and then the fourth, and then five of the third, and then from nine of the third, I've got a straight descent down. So I'm playing nine, seven, five, the same on the fourth, and then you know, straight Aeolian shape here, I'm playing eight, seven, five on the fifth, and then eight, seven, five on the sixth, and I end that on three on the sixth string. That little arpeggio lead in in front of it, and then we'll do the whole uh, run from there. Okay, so now let's try putting the second section together nice and slow. section is going to have this enormous run. You know how it goes. So essentially we're just going to start with a group of three and then it's going to be groups of four the whole way. So the first group of three, it's all kind of an A minor idea and then I think it gets into something A for Regini. Anyway, I'm playing five, seven, eight on the sixth string and then I, that's the first group of three and then I repeat it again to start the groups of four. So I'll go... So at the end of the group of four, I'm hitting five of the fifth. Okay, now the next group of four, I'm gonna play seven, eight on the sixth string, and then five, seven on the third, uh, five, seven on the fifth. Okay, then eight of the sixth string, and then five, seven, eight on the fifth. So all together. Hopefully that's making sense. And then I did pretty much exactly the same idea that we had from the sixth string, uh, from the groups of four on the fifth. So I'll do it again, but you'll see how the patterns are very, very similar. I'm playing five, seven, eight on the fifth, and then five of the fourth. And I play seven, eight on the fifth, and then five, seven on the fourth. And I play eight of the fifth, and then five, seven, eight on the fourth. So we'll go. So all together from the start of this section. Okay, now the last little group of that chunk goes. So this is all on the same string. I'm playing five, seven, eight, and then ten on the fourth. And then after that, we've got this. And that goes into the uh, the next little chunk from there. So let's take it from here. I'm playing seven, eight, ten on the fourth, and then seven of the third. And then eight, ten on the fourth, and then seven, eight on the third. So back to back. Okay, now the next bit I play ten of the fourth string, and then seven, eight, ten on the third. Okay, now the last little chunk. I'm just gonna play that seven, eight, ten again, and then we'll go up really high, so it'll go. So let's try from the start of this little chunk now. And I slide, slide into 12 of the first and then hit it again. And then I've got a big bend and a bit of vibrato on 15 of the second string. Let's try the whole section from the start nice and slow. Let's take a look at the fourth section. I'm going to do, start off with this little phrase here. So 
So I'm playing the same thing three times. I'm playing open on the first string, open on the second, and then playing first third on the second string. So I do that thrice, and then I go to this little thing. You notice that I'm using all four fingers. It's just easier to get around when we're doing it this way. I'm playing two, four, five on the third, and then six of the second. Okay, and then I do this little phrase again twice. And I've just got a descending run from five of the first string. So we'll do this slowly. I'm playing five, three, and then six, five, three on the second. And then that same shape, up a string and back a fret. So I'll be playing five, four, two now on the third. So what we've got thus far, thus far rather, we're going to pretty much do exactly the same thing up into the descending run, but then change that. So it's going to go up into two of that, and then it goes. Let's go through this this shape now. I'm playing um, uh, three one on the first. Then four three one on the second, and then I'm playing three two open on the third string. So it's exactly the same thing, modulated two frets back. If that makes sense. So this is what we should have thus far. Okay, then we repeat the first section. one's just a little bit shorter. So we're going to borrow this uh, phrase again three times. And then the last bit goes. So it's just two of that same idea and then we end on an open note instead of doing a run. Open on the first string. So that's pretty much the same idea. The first and the third are the same thing. The second one's got that different descending run. And then the last one just goes. Except, yeah, so it's just that open note instead of doing a run. So let's try doing the whole thing together a little bit slower. So the fifth section is going to start off with this slide into seven of the fourth string. I've switched to my neck pickup. And then we go into this little shreddy thing. There's some weird jazzy notes in here, so be aware it's a tad abrasive at times. I'm playing uh, nine, 11, nine on the fourth. And I'm doing something slightly chromatic here. I'm playing 10, 11, 12. So thus far. Then what I do here is I play 11, 12, 15 on the 4th still, and then I play 12, 14, 15 on the 4th as well. Some weird jazzy stuff going on there, and then I slide from 12 to 14 on the 3rd. So all together. Hopefully that's making sense, and then I go... So what I'm playing here is playing 12 of the first string twice, and I play 15 of the second string as a bend, and I want to bring it down, so I go, so I want to play that both ways, and then I pull it off from the bending down of the 15 on the second string to 13 of the second string. Pull off, and then I'm vibratoing uh, 15 of the third string, that's kind of a weird dark note there. Let's try the whole thing thus far a little slower. And then I go into this phrase. So what I'm doing here, I'm doing a hammer into a pull off, 10, 11, back to 10 of the second string, and then I go to 12 of the third, and then back down to 10 of the second, and I go. So what I'm doing here is hammering 12, 14, pulling off back to 12, and then pulling off to 10, so it'll go all in one pick. So nice and slow that last little chunk. Okay, and 
we've just got one little chunk at the end. So what I'm doing here, a hammer on each will pull off 12, 13, 12 of the first string, 15 of the second string, and then back down to 12 of the first. And at the end of that I go. So what I'm doing here is a bend up and back, and then down into a pull off on the second string. From 15 up and down into the pull off to 13, and then I end on 14 of the third. So nice and slow that last section. Okay, that's all section five. Let's try it nice and slow. Section six, the scary sweep section. Um, I'm starting with an A minor, and then I do another version of the A minor over here. So the first one's going to be a hammer on from 12 to 15 on the fifth, straight A minor, 14 of the fourth, 14 of the third, then I play 13 of the second, and then a hammer on until pull off 12, 17, 12 on the first. Okay. I do the same arpeggio, it's still an A minor, but I do it a different inversion. So I'm starting from 12 again, but with my pinky this time, I'm playing 12 of the fifth, 10 of the fourth, 9 of the third, 10 of the second, and then I do a hammer on until pull off, 8, 12, 8 on the first. We want to go through both of those arpeggios twice each. Okay, then after that I jump into the C major shape, which is nearly the same thing four times. I do three identical. Let's take it slowly. I'm going up and back from 15 of the fifth, 14 of the fourth, the 12 of the, of the third string, and then I play 13 of the second, and I do a hammer on until I pull off 12, 15, 12 on the first, and I just reverse my way back up. I want to be playing 13 of the second, 12 of the third, and then 14 of the fourth to finish. Whoa. My bad. Anyway, I want to be doing that three times, so up and back three times. And on the fourth time, instead of doing that, I just want to end on the ascent. So we're going to have forwards and back three times, and then just ending on the up part on the fourth time. So nice and slow. Hopefully that'll make sense. We've got the A minor, both of those twice, three of the C, and then one just ascending up on the C, and then we go to this part. We're going to start off with an E flat major, which is exactly the same shape as the C, three frets up. So I'll go through it slowly anyway. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm playing 18 of the fifth, 17 of the fourth, 15 of the third, 16 of the second, and then a hammer on from 15 to 18, pulling off back to 15 on the first string. Okay, then we've got three diminished in a row. So these are cool because they're all the same shape. So the first one I'm playing 15 of the third, 14 of the second, 12 of the first. And then when I do that, I'm doing a hammer on until I pull off 12, 15, 12 on the first string. I do the same thing three frets back, which is going 12 of the third, 11 of the second, and then 9, 12, 9 is the hammer to the pull off on the first. And the same thing three frets back from this. This one's going 9 of the third, 8 of the second, 6 of the first, and that's hammering to 9 and then pulling off back to the sixth. Sort of go. And at the end of that, I slide from 8 to 10 on the second string. So from the E flat. Let's try the whole section nice and slow now. Right, nearly there guys, seventh and final and perchance easiest section. I'm playing uh, from two of the second, sorry, 12 of the second string and 12 of the first and then I play 14, 15 on the first. The bright order a little and then I go. So I'm playing 14 of the first, 15 of the second and then bending 15 of the second. All together. Sorry about that bend, and then it goes. So I'm playing.
playing here is I'm playing 15, 17, and then I hit 17 again and slide to 22. And then after that, I want to go back to 19 of the first string. So when I slide, you sort of instinctively slide back a little bit from that 22, just hit the 19 again when you get there. Okay, the next bit is very, very similar to the first. We just don't have that lead in, so I'm just playing 15, 14 on the first string, and then 15 on the second uh, as a single note, and then as a bend. Let's try the whole thing thus far. Very, very close now, guys. We go. So the way that I end that is I play 15, 17 on the first, 22 as a regular note, and then I bend it. All right, let's put the whole thing together thus far, nice and slow. That's it, that's the Apocalyptic City solo. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. Catch you real soon.